Yo, what is up? Welcome back to another video. My name is Rob Pollard. You already know, the GOAT of the channel. Today, I am showing you how I made $100 within 10 minutes. I could have possibly caught the $425, but I had got out only because I wasn't paying attention to the trade and I was doing something else. But without further ado, let's get to my explanation how I could have made $425, but I still made, I think it was like $98. And uh, as you can see on the screen, I popped it right here with a point zero point zero three lot size I think I took but yeah so let me let's get into the video all right so as you can see on my screen is I'm trading NAS 100 um I start I always start off on a daily time frame only because I like to see where we're at and I want to see if we're hitting a support or resistance area that's a good key factor just to know if you're gonna have to take buys or sales today it, it usually overcomes all in a daily time frame now I like to go down to my four hour hourly time frame only because it shows more of spots where it hits on the support and resistance area that you mark up. My blue lines do represent the daily time frame. My red lines do represent hourly time frame. So like four hours, one hours. And I like to really mark it up on a one hourly time frame only because it shows more accurate, precise where it's hitting that. So that's the reason why I like the one hour time frame the most when I'm drawing my red lines for my entry day levels. Now if I go down to my 15 minute time frame, I do have 30 minute time frame. I look at that sometimes, but I like to look at like 15 minutes because it shows a good area, like where does it hit at. So that shows, you get more candles on 15, showing more accurate precision where it's hitting at. So as you can see, I drew a 15 minute support zone down here and a resistance zone up here. And down here, the reason why I drew a resistance is because this is why. Now I noticed on the five minute time frame, um, it was on the uptrend, well really on the one minute time frame, I noticed it was on the uptrend to the upside. So it broke resistance, came out support, went up, hit resistance, then it came back down. And the reason why I have this line because it's the new low. So we have a, a lower high or a higher high, higher low, dang. I have a higher low, a higher high, a higher low, and at the bottom is a wick. If it breaks this, then we've possibly seen it reverse, and that's what it did. So, I waited. So as soon as it made a higher high, you guys probably looking like, yeah, what about these right here? This is really just noise, because if we go down to the one minute, or the five minute time frame, you can see, Jesus Christ, you can see that it just, higher high, higher low higher high so it really it's just noise between the bigger time frames so I saw that it made a higher high it broke my higher low so we, I possibly looked for cells and I noticed that we hit a resistance zone that's two confirmations right there and the momentum ended up building slower that's the third confirmation right there so I went into a cell I waited till it hit a resistance zone. And the reason why I chose this resistance zone right here is because I see multiple candles hit this AR right here. So I'm gonna read y'all this for you guys just to show you why. So I saw that if you look about right here, I saw multiple candles hit this area. And you guys are probably wondering, how is he drawing his zones? Like, why is he drawing it right there? Now, I'm gonna show you guys what. It's because I drew my candle right from here to here because I noticed it was hard for it to break out. Even when it broke out, it came straight back down. Right here, double top, came straight back down. Consolidated right here, came straight back down. Consolidated up here, or struggled to break out, came straight back down. That's that good juice right there. Water. So, after I saw it, recontest twice. First recontest, second recontest. That gives me more confirmation that we're most likely gonna go on a downtrend. Plus news has happened too. I read, make sure you guys always stay up to news. I use Forex Factory or our FX book on mobile or on Android. It's probably the same on iOS or Apple, iPhone, whatever. Um, I have mine's on Samsung, so my FX book or Forex Factory. So after I saw the recontest, um, I aimed for about down here in the next previous zone. That's where I saw it going to and that's what we hit to. And I don't, just to make sure, I'm gonna show you guys, I do not have replay on. Or I don't even have replay in general because I don't pay for it. You see, I could select it like this safe I want to go to right here or something. I have to purchase it. I don't have replay. Just to show you guys, I'm not lying about what I made. Uh, once again, I'll pop my profit up on the screen right here. Um, you can see 0 0.03 lot size. 
I noticed that it was gonna go back down and that's the reason why I took this trade. This video might not be that long, only because I really don't have that much to explain, but just to break it down again one more time so you guys can understand it, I always start from my daily time frame. Let's, let's uh, get the daily time frame up. Always mark it up. Make sure you mark up proper zones and um, it's areas where it generally hits the most and reject the hardest at. So that's the reason why I like to mark up on my daily time frame first so I know where we're at. Then I go to my four hourly time frame, which is this. So you can see where it hits multiple times. That's all I like to mark up there. Here, you're probably looking like, why is it like this? It broke, came back, recontest, stuff like that. Or if you look more to your left, stuff like that. So that's why I look at my four hourly time frame. You always want to make sure whatever area hits the most, make sure that's always marked up for like your supply or resistance, whatever it turns out to be. Then I go to my hourly time frame where I get even more precise with my support and resistance. So you see right here, broke, I mean, didn't break. <laughs> Recontest, failed to break, but then broke. As you see, but it's always on the uptrend too. So if it's on the uptrend, do not go against the trend. You will lose money if you don't know how to do it correctly. If you do, all props to you. You're a savage, you know how to do it, and you're a mastermind. If you don't, like they say, the trend is your friend. Do not go against the trend at any given time. If you're a beginner, like myself, go with the trend. You guys probably like, but you want to get the trend here. I really did it only because I saw the rejection happening live in action. 8 News Now, Fox 5. I also have this SMA. I really don't use this one, but if you do want to use it, it's only because to tell you which way the trend's going. You can obviously tell which way the trend's going without it. I, I just have it on there. I haven't even took it off. I had it for a while. It just really doesn't use it like that. But once again, I go down to my 15 minute time frame. You could look at the 30 minute time frame. You do get precise action like that too. I actually think I marked this one up on a 30 minute time frame, but I'm pretty sure I did on the 15. Because you get more precise uh, areas where the zones are hitting. So once again, I know it looks choppy right here. You could have also did a range. This is what this is right now. Arranges as it goes up and down, up and down, up and down in one specific area, which is this is doing right now. But you trade a smart, you make some smart moves, you make the money. Like I said, then I go down to my five minute time frame and I do my majority of look whack entry on a oop. Then I go down to the five minute time frame to see where I can get my best entries at and walk and get my best stop losses at. Always remember guys, proper risk management. Do not go in trading with a heavy lot size on a tiny account and pray for the best. You some, some, sometimes you get lucky, especially if you're starting off. Beginner's luck is a thing, okay? If you're, if you're new to it, and if you wanna put, I don't know, say if you have $500 in one account, and you want to do heavy lot size and you get lucky and flip it to a thousand next day do not keep doing that because trust me the marker will fold you they will make they will hit you in your stomach and make it hurt have your heart beating i'm telling you do not go in there without proper risk management then i go down to the minute time frame this, this is where i get the best entries at if i were you guys i will look at the minute time frame just to get the best entries because you can see when the chart starts to reject. So on the minute time frame, you could get the best entries on there. That's why I like the minute. So, like I said, the reason why I took this is because it broke a lower high, no a higher low, and it made a lower low. That's the reason why I got in for this entry up here. So it grabs from liquidity, then came straight back down. That's the reason how I made $100 within 10 minutes or $98 I believe it was $98 you guys can see I'm screwing up <coughs> dang it was $91.89 but as you guys can see right there NAS 100 0.03 lot size 91 and 89 cents but I'm gonna put it as 100 because you know what I'm saying it just sounds cleaner like that I wish I helped this trade even more but what can I say the profit is profit take it get out you're done for the day don't over trade that was my biggest problem and don't revenge trade that was definitely one of my biggest problems those two will kill your account like no tomorrow
Also, if you guys do want to keep track of your trading plans, your trading notes, go to the store, buy a trading journal because this will help you master trading, I'm telling you. The reason why I say go get a trading journal because you can visualize stuff. Yeah, then you end up forgetting it. But once you write it down, just like write a pattern down every day, then you know that you need to follow those plans. It'll be stuck in your mind. I hope you see where I'm coming from. Without further ado, I hope this was a simple little video. If you guys don't get it, go ahead and watch it again until you guys get it. So I'd like to start from my daily, working my way down to the hourly, and working my way, well, four hour, then to the hour, then to the 15, five to one. So those are the best time frames to look at for the best entries, for the best possibilities. Everybody take losses, so if you take a loss, it's okay. Come back the next day or place one more trade, but don't place a bigger lot size on that trade because you will blow your account you will hurt yourself and you will feel frustrated after you can't get that money back and you have to deposit more money just to get that money back. We all been there, every single person been there, even the best trader in the world is making the most money. He's been there. So it's all part of the game, stick to the game. Hear me out. If you feel like you can't do trading, don't give up. And the reason why I say this is because a lot of people tend to give up, then they definitely lost. But how can you lose if you never give up? You feel me? So whatever you do, do not give up. You're gonna go through the trials and errors as everybody else do. Heck, by the end of this year, I don't know, I could become a, if I could reach $500,000 in this trading account, we never know. But I'm not giving up until the day I die. So never give up. Don't let your, don't let your dreams stay dreams, okay? Go ahead and get up and go make them dreams happen. And I'm not saying just dream about them. You gotta put in the work just to make your dreams come true. So without further ado, I'll see you on the next video. Deuce.